why you should be saving money right now and implementing these seven money-saving tips and putting them into your daily routine during this pandemic we're all facing together. I know, ladies and gentlemen, that we're all still buying, shopping, and we're doing it a little bit differently because the normal activities that were once available to us are now all closed. And some of this online shopping now is can be quite detrimental to us because not only are we doing online shopping or maybe a little panic shopping, but I know we're doing a, quite a bit of impulse shopping. And again, that is quite detrimental to our pocketbook at the end of the day. Now screen time is up 80 plus percent right now so everyone has a screen in front of them and that's only making it even easier to have these impulse buys so that's why it's of the utmost importance right now to be prepared because this pandemic that we're all facing together there's no end date in sight right now there's complete uncertainty still and we don't have a date which we know we're going to get back to normalcy so on that note we got to stay dialed in and make sure that every bit of cash that we can keep in our pockets stays there and isn't being spent frivolously or being tempted by the stock market too because that's so volatile as well and unless you're an expert or you have someone in your back pocket that really knows it be smart right now this is the time to put money aside keep it in your reserves establish an emergency fund because when we get to normal i guarantee you if you're like me, I miss my 40th birthday being stuck at home. So I'm definitely going to want to go all out at this hotel I booked that I had to cancel actually. So be like me, put some money aside and employ these seven tips I'm going to get right into right now. So now before I just jump into these seven money saving tips, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. Welcome. If you have subscribed yet, please smash that subscribe and hit the little notification bell as well because that will keep you dialed in when all my new videos are popping up because I'm dropping videos bi-weekly. So that's two videos popping up every single week. Now, let's jump right into number one. This is a new thing that's been coming commonplace. It's ditching subscription boxes. These are all online based types of subscriptions most of the time as well. And this is not the time to be upgrading your wardrobe. I know there's sales out there, but don't be tempted because they're just trying to get rid of stuff and they're making good use of you if you fall for it. So at the end of the day, avoid these subscription boxes because they're just bringing you stuff that you can't even use or show off right now in the first place. So end it. You can always put it on hold for temporary and bring it back after this once we get back to normal. Now let's jump into number two. It's important to have date nights. And for those of you who still have special people in your lives, especially if you're living with them, it's so of the most important to maintain those healthy positive relationships because that just makes you feel excited and confident to get through these days that are no are just a little bit trying on all of us so with that in mind be frugal about what you're spending on I know we can spend money on DoorDash but it's just as well to stay at home make a great dinner with some candles go in the backyard set it up nice little wine you know doing it at home right being creative is just as great as ordering say from DoorDash or you know an expensive type of experience that you know you're gonna regret later and you wish you could have saved that money for when we get back to normal now let's jump into number three Three, plan your meals. This is of the utmost importance as well because I get tempted all the time to want to just go pick up or get delivery, but this is super important, especially during this pandemic, to make sure that you're using all the food at your disposal, not wasting anything as well. And also on top of that, when you're not spending on delivery or ordering out, you're actually saving 40 to $50 a pop. So that's great money to put into that emergency fund for a better day or when we get, again, back to normal. Now let's jump into number four. I mentioned kind of this in number one with ditching those subscription boxes, but look, no one needs to buy clothing right now. No one's showing off, no one's going out on dates, there's no premiere, there's no event to go to, so no one needs to be buying clothes right now, unless it's the necessities. But come on guys, you know, you know how us folks are in LA. We gotta have that wardrobe always look and fly but look right now it's the smartest thing for you to do because again we, there's no certainty when we're going to get back to normal so keep that money in your reserves keep it close to you so you know where it is and you have access to it in case you have an emergency during this pandemic number five is another great thing raise a little cash what do i mean by that well look around your house your apartment storage what have you and see what things that you're not using are going to be things that you're still not using in the future and let them go put them on the facebook marketplace put them on craigslist put them on next door and get rid of them you know it's a great way to add some extra cash to the reserves and continue to build up those emergency funds during this time number six is shop around and i don't mean shop around online 
for clothes or who's got the best sale going on, Nordstrom's or Macy's or maybe even Neiman Marcus. Those aren't the types of shopping around that I'm referring to. Shopping around in this sense is check in with your insurance company, check in with your cell phone provider, check in with your internet provider because this is the time to reach out to them to see if they can do anything better on your bills for you. They're probably looking to work with people. They probably have people coming and going as far as clients go. So they do want to keep you as clients and I'm sure that they can work out something for you. In fact, I was just at Spectrum, say not in within the last three weeks and they were able to knock off about 40 to 50 bucks off my monthly. So you got time on your hands. You might as well make the call and guess what? If you're saving more money, again, it goes right into that emergency fund for when we get back to normal. And number seven is one of the funniest ones, the Amazon and Amazon Prime. Well, guess what? There's no more two day delivery, so you don't need to be ordering from there anymore. But if you're tempted, you got this urge that you need to buy something, here's a quick tip that you can do. Put those things that you're so, at the moment, interested in buying, of course, again, impulse buys, but put those in a cart, leave them there for two days and come back to them in two days or three days or four days and see if they're still of the utmost importance to you. If they're not, hey, you just saved yourself a ton of money. Again, put that aside in the emergency fund and save it for that normal day that's coming. A little bit of celebration that goes along with it as well because at the end, when we get back to normal, you've implemented all these seven habits. You've got money in your pockets. You're ready to have some fun and get back to what normal is all about. So on that note, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Smash that subscription button. And also please leave comments, concerns. I address everything. Happy to answer questions any and all times. And just stay safe and keep dialed in because I'm going to bring another video to you live real soon. Have a great one.